Well, hi everyone. Um, my name is Frank Fisher, and this is my ceramic show. Um, I've been doing ceramics um, since college, which was in uh, 1980. I took ceramics uh, at Central Michigan um, from Jay Shirtliff, and I took it for five years. And when it came time to graduate, I had to decide whether I wanted to be a ceramicist and not make a whole lot of money, or my family had a advertising business, I could go into the ad business. And I decided that I would go into the ad business because I knew I had a job waiting for me and I knew that my financial career would be a lot more, um, lot more concrete. When I ran into health issues, the heart was a problem. Um, I'd have some minor surgery. Uh, I'm much better now, but um, so you'll see the heart here represents physical as well as an emotional symbol. Have, it, have you guys ever picked up how light these things are? Oh, you got to pick one up. I, here, I brought I brought a piece because that's the other. That's the cool thing about ceramics is now if you go to a museum or you go to a gallery and you look at all the stuff on the wall, you can't ever touch it. You lose that whole experience of interacting. Um, but ceramics is one of those things that you feel compelled to pick it up and touch it. And I thought, isn't that cool? I have this opportunity to kind of leave an impression with somebody. Um, I could easily make that a standard thickness of clay and a standard weight, but if I could make that really light, that adds one more little um, aspect to the encounter when they, when they pick it up. When I make them, I kind of think of, I don't think about throwing. I think more in terms of, I think more in terms of being on a lathe and um, I, will f I will throw the form and the actual bottom of these will be that thick. That's all, that's all trimmed away, the inside of that's all trimmed away and they're made, you know, and they're all different pieces like Ford's assembly line, you know, there's the body, there's the dome that's thrown, the spout's thrown. You doing that carving on the wheel also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's funny because it's a different mindset. Uh, and I use a lot of metal tools. I don't use, uh, you know, to get these sharp edges and stuff. You know, and that was all sorts of things. You never, it was hard to like, to not do that. You know, it just seemed so nice to just put a chamois on there and just smooth that out. But, you know, I left a lot of that you know, like little sharp edges and ridges and stuff that would be nice to put a chamois on. But, you know, I'm just going to leave it. And, um, and when you look at it when it's done, that's kind of how they have. They do have a thin little metal tooling marks and things like that. I think that's probably it. The American dream Part of the scheme It's got to look mean at me You can't have joined the team the American dream Out of control Going down for the last time Throw the lifeline and get ready to pull The American dream Can't lose sight Gotta hold them together And hold out to each other With all of our might 